Good morning. How are you? Doing very well. This thank is you. KJ with. Go ahead and, and it's tell Car people. It's Caribe Restaurant in Eureka okay. Springs, and uh, today we're just going to be doing a really simple, um, all raw, natural uh, farmers market salad. These are some greens that I picked up from the Homestead Farms yesterday. We have several growers in Eureka. They make uh, all of our lives at the restaurant super easy, and they make us look really good. There are several. Um, Farmers there, obviously, Patrice Gross is actually from France, and he is part of our Floor Delicious weekend. Um, all of the farmers there are, have been really supportive of the restaurants. It's really easy to look good. So we just have a few simple greens. We're going to add our beets. Want to try it? I do want to try oh, it, Robbie. Please do. Okay, good. We have some cucumbers, and this is just a really simple, easy red onions. That Are they making you cry? No, they're, they're, <laughs> they are they're very, very strong. They're super sweet. Yeah, they are strong. super sweet. Yeah. Are you game? I love onions. I love Try onions too. They're great. Right. The whole onion by itself. Yeah. See, and they're not really strong. They're just sweet. They are sweet. Uh huh. Never seen a refrigerator yet. They are. Now I've got appointments with people this afternoon. Is this going to affect my? It uh, won't. Here, chase it with us. <laughs> we'll beat. <laughs> yes. We will oh. beat you. Well, I was going to ask the farmers market. Are there certain days that it is open? Or Tuesday. Open? Yeah, the farmers market is Tuesday and Thursday. They start early about eight and they go until twelve. Okay. So it is twice a week, which makes it really easy and convenient. For Floor Delicious Weekend, that is, is going to be our um, kickoff spot. Chef David Gilderson from the Grand Tavern is going to be a, uh, doing a cooking demo there. And uh, also the mayor will be there. And instead of cutting a ribbon, he's actually going to be slicing a ribbon cake, which will be oh, super I mean. fun. Okay. Oh, cool yes. That. So that'll be our kickoff spot. There's going to be some uh, music there from uh, Blair from the Mountain Sprouts. And... Um, then Thursday night, we'll be uh, at Caribe restaurant. We'll have Bob Norman, and he's going to be doing a show of all of his. <laughs> did you catch? I'm something? still eating onions over here. Bob Norman is going to be doing a, <laughs> a show of the uh, uh, his artwork, and also he's the one that designed our T-shirts and our poster for the Floor Delicious weekend. He's a super great artist. He his uh, company is called Just the Fish, and uh, he does all kinds of fish-oriented artwork. And, uh, and you say all this is grown locally? It's all grown locally. Every single bit of it is. All our squash, cucumbers, the turnips, which are really nice and mild. Now, does your restaurant solely buy from <laughs> locals, or do you have I, to supplement? I, I would love to. I have mm -hmm. to supplement, obviously. Um, sure. the, w the farmers are small, and the market is, what did uh, I just eat? is growing. Turnip? Turnip. Okay. Do you like it? <laughs> I'm allergic to turnips. Are you? No. <laughs> that looks okay. <laughs> You're such a goof. <laughs> Talk to me a little bit about. I want to know about. I will. This is some fresh. This. this is some fresh shard. And as what do you do with shard? Just eat you can you. I just raw? eat it. I just eat it okay. raw and um, salads. But also, this is a really good one to juice. If you're going to be making some fresh fruit juices, you mm -hmm. add a little bit of the shard in there. It gives it sort of that is underlying it tone. It okay. is. It is. It's not really sweet, but it's not got too you much want of me to a, eat that. I do. Copy you know, out. on camera, I'll eat anything. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Tell me what like, you're allergic we're to. We're like little now. rabbits over here. <laughs> no, it's super good and good That's for good. you. That's and good. Very good. Really, yeah. And you could see as it would be good just raw, or you could put it in a juice, mm -hmm. which exactly. is, yeah, but it's short, is really hearty, it really holds up. And as you can tell, these red and yellow pieces, these are one of the best things you can do for your body. I mean, that is just life itself. These are really good for your blood circulation, full of vitamin A and C. Okay. Super good and good for you. They're also good to hold up if you're traveling for picnics, stuff like that, to go outside. They will hold up their real hearty leaf. And as certainly to, not cooking them is better because you lose some of the nu nutrients. You do you lose cook. some of the nutrients. Of course, I don't want to discourage you from cooking with certainly, greens. Certainly, but... Absolutely mm -hmm. not. But mm -hmm. I hear yeah, you saying. do. You do lose some of the nutrients from the raw state, but you still uh, retain some of them, and uh, like the uh, the uh, the goodness for your blood circulation, you will retain during cooking. Now you're okay. going to lose some of your vitamin A and your vitamin right. C in this during cooking. Okay. This is another nice one. This what? is fennel. Okay. Isn't that cool? Did you say Isn't fennel? What do you do fennel. with Okay. You could it, it, again. You could put it just in salads. A lot of people use it to juice with. It's got a little licorice sort of flavor too. Oh, I love licorice. So it would be uh, it would be great for juice. You want to try it? If you want me to eat, you is it okay eat? to eat? I want you to eat, eat any of it. <laughs> <laughs> it you does. Know, I have goats, so I mean, this is nothing new for me. Mm -hmm. It does have a it licorice. Does. It does have a licorice taste, isn't it? Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. So this is really super good in any kind of juice that you want to do. I like it raw, just wow. in the salad, and it really is. That is awesome. Isn't What'd it you good? Call that now? Fennel. 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 Mm, fennel. She's say that again. F E N N E L. Fennel. I just wanted to say fennel. 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 Okay. Fennel. Fennel. Have some more. 
I think he's giving you a hard time. He is. So she's Allergic giving you to stuff to put in your mouth yeah, so you'll shut. It won't help. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's the way. Isn't that a nice, a that nice is addition awesome though? Stuff. Well, where can you nice. get that? Things I haven't tried here anywhere? in the farmers market in Eureka Springs. Here. Grow locally. Absolutely. Um, Homestead Farms sold me this actual piece of fennel. Cool. Mm -hmm. You have beets? I like that. I have beets. These are a little white turnip. They're very that was very mild. I have, of course, the red and the white uh, onions. These were from from Patrice. And uh, the mixed salad greens, these are really awesome. Oh, they look mm. wonderful. Aren't they good? Mm-hmm. Yeah. All from the farmer's market, every single right. bit of it. Mm-hmm. And sometimes I do supplement. Sometimes we can have, like, you know, of course, at, at Caribe, we do Caribbean food. So I like to use mangoes, kiwis, that kind of stuff. Obviously, it doesn't grow in this country. So you can always supplement that, and I do at the restaurant. But this, just by itself, is perfection. Well, let me ask you about your restaurant. Yes. Um, how Were you trained in... Okay, you said it's a Caribbean restaurant. It is Caribbean how did, restaurant. How did you come by? My to be? Uh, original partner in the restaurant, Claudia Perez, was from Panama. So okay. um, we had that Latin American influence to begin with. And we just kind of took it to another level of doing sort of that whole region from sort of uh, Central America, Latin America, South America, and even to the islands. Now we're more, uh, uh, of course, over 18 years that we've been in Eureka right. Springs. Um, the food has definitely stayed true to its roots with our salsa and our seafood but also kind of added to uh, different flavors as we tend to travel around and find new things and new ingredients. And whatever is fresh and local, we certainly are going to incorporate that as much as we can possibly. That's great. Now, mm -hmm. I don't know where you're located because I don't go to Eureka Springs all year round, but you need to tell me where you're located. Caribe is, lo <laughs> Caribe is located on Highway 62. Um, a couple of curves past the high school. It's really easy, simple and easy to find. It's so you're not down in the main district? Not downtown, right. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. Teresa DeVito is downtown. So they're going to be doing, obviously, their wine dinners. There will be a, the good thing about Floor Delicious that Eileen has done is she's gathered a good um, spattering of restaurants that are all over and businesses. And so it's not any one section. So when you are traveling around for Floor Delicious to hit everything, you will be up on the highway a little mm -hmm. bit, you'll be downtown mm -hmm. a little bit, you can kind of have best of both and worlds. And the trolleys go right past trolleys your restaurant? Will they stop the at your restaurant? Right across not? the street. Okay. Mm -hmm. no, yes, they close, close enough. enough. Close oh. enough, right across the street. That's yes. awesome. Wonderful. Okay. All right. So is you. this salad ready to go? It is. No, I'm it's taking all yours. that. Didn't, I'm taking that. It's oh. all for you. Okay. <laughs> all right. <laughs> this is all for you. Thank you guys so much for having us. Thank you very Absolutely much. Absolutely our we, pleasure. We well, I'm not finished. I'm still eating. I want you to get up to Floor Delicious and eat some more. We're gonna I will come by. At yes. Caribe, we're going to be making beignets and cafe au lait. Beignet, tell me what beignet. a beignet is. Beignet is a French donut. It's uh, quick fried and then covered in a giant ton of powdered sugar. It's mm. really Yum. served warm, super delicious. You cannot beat it. Is it kind of like it. a, um, what do you call this, funnel cake? Something like that? Mm, uh, sort of. It's, I mean, you have the right idea with the dough yeah. and the bread and the sugar. Uh, it's And the frying. And the frying. And the frying part. And the it's sugar, a, yeah. yeah, the fried, uh, the beignets are a little different. They're not fried quite as much and they're not kind of sort of funneled out mm -hmm. like the funnel mm -hmm. cakes are. Mm -hmm. Different bread, of course, we're using a really good French bread dough, something you could make uh, uh, sourdough bread or the long French rolls mm -hmm. with. Absolutely. So it's got a really, you know, heavier. It's not, the funnel cakes would be maybe a lighter dough. The, okay. the beignets are going to be a really, you're going to feel okay. like you've had a meal after you eat three beignets yeah. and have some coffee. Okay. You're going to be ready to go. Okay. All, right. All right. Again, the event is July 6th, 7th, and 8th. 7th, 8th, 8th and 9th, 10th. Okay. It's Thursday, okay. the kickoff, Friday, Saturday, and we'll have... A few events on Sunday. And for pretty people, full weekend. People just walked in the room that's seeing this segment. Where can they get more information? Uh, FloorDeliciousWeekend.com is the website. And uh, on Facebook, it's Floor Delicious Weekend in Eureka Springs. There's a full schedule there as well. And uh, the Chamber of Commerce, everybody in Eureka will have schedule of events and maps uh, as to how you can get around. It's really, like Eileen said, very user friendly. It's not hard to find your way around at all. Okay. All right. KJ, thanks so, so much. much. My Ka pleasure. Caribe Restaurant Cantina? Exactly. That's right. All right. Eureka. 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 All, right. all right. Thank you guys so much. Thank we'll you. take a break, and when we continue, we'll be talking with Teresa DeVito and Irene, Eileen Powell again about uh, some of the oh, items yeah, here up here. We're going to be talking about that. Thank Stay you with so us. Much. Thank you. She's our boss.